What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, and all that stuff I normally say. Damn everything, sexy as hell host. Bringing you guys a life gain subscriber and friend. He's got a lot on his mind in terms of what happened with Comic Con, the Avengers, the, the DC stuff. I got my boy, lifetime subscriber, James Booker. Talk to us. What are you mad about? What happened that has you so upset? All right, so let's let's assume for a minute that the Infinity War is going to be one of the greatest movies of all time. That's a given. Not the problem. Right now, what's bothering me is when you look at all the movies so far. We've been we're, we've been building up to this movie for what eight nine years now. Ten. I mean, go all the way back to the first, yeah. I mean, go back to the first Iron Man movie. Go and back to the first Hulk the movie. You know, like, building the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe by itself has been wonderful. My only issue is, at this point, you look at what all the villains have done. I mean, you've got Ronan, who killed one of Thanos' advisors right of him. You've got, like, Red Skull, who killed all these people. You've got, look at freaking Dormammu. Even he has done more evil in the movies than Thanos. <laughs> so far, look at and what all these bad guys have done, and all Thanos has what? done. Wait, is wait, so wait, 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 wait. We're talking. We are not talking about the comic books. We're talking about wait. The, every movie. It's like Dormammu <laughs> like kills one guy over and over and controls all these people, and you know, Red Skull wages an entire war, and um, gee, even the Winter Soldier was up to no good. And then you've got Thanos who sits on a chair. So, why, if, if you don't read the comics, why do you give two flying craps about Thanos? And that's been my issue. So far, the only thing we have is a secondhand account of abusing his daughters, which is awful, don't get me wrong. But then compare that to Loki, who unleashed other, uh, an army from an entire other world on the Earth. And it's like, who are we more scared of, Loki or Thanos, who sits on a ch has yet to actually get a hold of any of the Infinity Stones? All these idiots have been carrying one around, and he's, like, sitting on a chair. Laughing. So, go right ahead. Tell me why I care about Thanos. Not without referring to the comic books. Uh-huh. Why do I care? Wow, man. That, damn. That, that is, damn. Tell me why you're mad, son. You're mad. So, let me ask you this. Who do you fear more? Me, that you can see on a day-to-day -day basis, or the federal government? Well, you've got two title belts, I see. Oh. So you must have done something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know, obviously the federal government. Right. Because I can talk to you, and I know what you're thinking right now. Mm -hmm. but like, like, Sa wait, I'm going to I'm stop you right there. That's the same concept with Thanos. They've all had encounters with the other bad guys. They know what to expect. But through some of the other bad guys, such as Loki, people are afraid of Thanos. And if Loki's afraid of Thanos, shouldn't someone else be afraid of Thanos? I don't disagree. And that would totally carry until you think about Ronan, who, I mean... Has anyone ever gotten in the face of Thanos the way Ronan did? He showed no fear whatsoever. Until Thanos turned that hovering fly-ass chair around and said, Listen to me, boy. And all that good stuff he said. And Ronan ass hightailed out of there with his daughter like he had was the Grinch that stole Christmas. So... And, Th and Ronan was pretty powerful, and he ran away from Thanos, thinking that he was going to get that Infinity Gem come back and whip Thanos' ass. Didn't happen, did it? No, no, absolutely not. I, You know, I, but what I said still stands. Of All these other people have had no problems getting a hold of an Infinity Stone. And, and, you know, it's not like Thanos doesn't know where they're currently located. So what's been holding him back? He knows exactly where they are. And all he does is sit in that chair and laugh. Now, I, now, yes, if he did anything but that, it would ruin the Infinity War. Is that if we had all these movies where he was going around sneaking, I get that. But as far as setting him up as the ultimate evil... I am still more scared of Loki, who has done far more damage. Even in, He has been in some of the stupidest movies and has been the only good part of them. Uh, 
uh, because of what he's got to work Lo- Loki is like a little damn chihuahua. He's all bark and no fight. He talks a good game, but he ain't beating up nobody. <laughs> Fucking chihuahua. Look, look, man. The all bad guys that are very powerful hate doing the small, dirty work. Thanos is no different. He wants people, he wants minions to secure the Infinity Stones, bring them to him, bow down and kiss the ring, the same way Donald Trump wants Sean Spicer to bow down and kiss the ring. It's the same concept. Bam. Same concept. So, tell me then, why is he worse than Dormammu? Fucking Dormammu. Why is he worse than Dormammu? Dormammu. You know, think, think of everything that took place with Doctor Strange. You know, I didn't. See, I am more impressed by what Dormammu can do at this point than what Thanos can in the in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We're but we, but, the comics, we, we're but we we only saw Dormammu for like five minutes. And look what he! I mean, you had in those five minutes, Doctor Strange that whole time was holding an Infinity Stone. And Dormammu still killed him 31 times at least. He showed no fear of the face. Now, yes, that's not what the stone does. I get that. But, you know, even while holding an infinity stone, Dormammu looked him in the eye and killed him over and over and over. I, I, I look forward to them making me wrong. I, I, they haven't let me down yet. If you if you ignore the uh, Thor movies so far, Ragnarok doesn't count, hasn't come out yet. If you if you ignore the first two, the movies overall have been good. I, I'm gonna just so have I, to tell you. I'm gonna have to just tell you to just chill out. That they're gonna do fine. And what was your opinions of what you seen of Thanos from the Infinity Wars trailer that got leaked from Comic Con that was on this station until Marvel and DC blocked it worldwide? Glad to see you get his ass out of the chair. That's about it. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Look. Oh. I mean, what more can I say? Yes, I think it's going to be an amazing movie. Top three or four of all time, you know, money wise, mm-hmm. easily. Um, I think this will be one of the greatest series of all time. I can't even name another series that will come close to touching it. But it's about time we saw Thanos do a thing. He, oh, he's going to do a thing. <laughs> He, he's going to do more than a thing. He's also unleashing, looks like the Black Order, his other children, basically, if you follow the comic books, that are going to be in this thing fighting and kicking ass and all that good stuff. But the one thing that you might not have caught up on, did you see the latest Thor Ragnarok trailer? Um, You know, I caught part of it. I haven't had a chance to sit down and watch it. It's um, It looks like they've got... What I saw was like Thor and... Dr. Banner just talking. I mean, this was, to me, a much more boring trailer than the last one. I was less excited after seeing it, but, I'm, but I still plan to go see it, Mike. So you missed the Easter eggs in it. The Easter eggs just, were all at the very end, which kind of leads to Infinity War. So at the very end, there's a shot of Hulk saying he loves fire, diving into the fiery pits of hell with Surtur, the fire god. The one who really causes Ragnarok. And that just makes me... And you know, there is such things like this fire hope in the comic books, which I doubt they bring on the big screen, but neither here nor there. Are they going to have it where a Hulk is somehow another stuck down there fighting Surtur? Maybe he gets even stronger and comes back at the end of the first Avengers movie, Infinity War movie, or the beginning of the second one to have to be the badass to take on Thanos. You know, something like... Yep. That leads, up, that leads up to the other question. Who do you think is going to die during the first Infinity War movie? Everybody but Doctor Strange and the Guardians, I think. And then I think in the second movie, they're going to have Doctor Strange go into that mythical place using the, the Time Stone and bring everybody back. Oh, absolutely. Now, you know, there are a few characters who I could see never coming back. and some Just to make this, like, there has to be a price that to be paid. I, like, I think Captain America's due. He's done. I, He's done. Chris Evans Chris Evans didn't even sign a new contract. Right. No. He's due. You, you 
can't end all this with Thor being dead. He's going to go back and be the ruler. You know, I think Thor is going to survive all this. Captain America is doomed. Most of the Avengers, I think, are going to die. It'll probably be brought back in some cases, but it would just make sense for Captain America, through whatever reason, is dead dead, you know? I think they're going to reboot it. They might be following some of the comic storyline. You know, the Avengers have changed teams over and over again. Right. So the, I can see them making the Winter Soldier the new Captain America, or maybe even Falcon the new Captain America. Um, and then they're, they're already going to be doing a uh, Ms. Marvel movie. She's probably going to join the Avengers. So there's, there's an array of ways they're going to go with this. But some of the original guys that we've seen, their contracts are up. Characters that we love, because you know I love seeing Scarlett Johansson in those tight outfits with the red hair. But you know, oh, she's yeah. her hair. Did you see in in the trailer? Her hair is blonde now, so I'm done with her. Uh, goodbye. Get somebody else in there. Fuck her. Goodbye. Fair enough. Now here's a question. Since obviously this did this was based off comic books, mm -hmm. Adam Warlock played a very important role in the Infinity Wars, and so far all we've had is just his first name was used as a bump at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy 2, you know? Right, right. They call him Adam. Now, he was real important in Infinity War. Are they going to try to rush him through into this, or are they? is that one of the things they're just going to veer off? He's going to be a bad guy for Guardians 3, whatever. He might know, be a bad guy. That, I'm wondering I'm wondering how are they going to introduce the Nova Corps and those powerful... Centurion Nova helmets that they have that are like very powerful. Those guys used to go back and forth with Thanos. Uh, I'm wondering when are they going to introduce them, the Warlock story, because they all are interlocked with the Guardians pretty heavy if you go by source material or if you go by the um, cartoon. So I'm kind of wondering. They, I'm sure they've got to bring in the heavy guns to fight Thanos. You're going to have to do that. And it might be maybe the second Infinity War where they bring in some of these more galactic characters into the storyline to kind of help defeat Thanos, and then they all have their own stories. That's how I think they're going to weave in Miss Marvel. She's basically kind of a cosmic character in the realm that winds up becoming an Avenger. Um, so I think they might go in that direction toward the second movie. But did you also hear Avengers, the first one coming, this next one, Avengers Infinity War 1, it's going to be the longest Marvel movie they've ever done. They're talking like two hours and maybe 50 minutes. Oh, worthwhile, though. I mean, Marvel movies in general, you never feel bored. And True. there were some slow parts to Ant-Man that, you know, Ant-Man was Ant-Man. Fair view. But, yeah, no, I mean, that's going to be worthwhile. You need to plug that much time in to get all the story out that you need to, you know? Right, right. Well... Bro, I, I, I just say, right. keep your socks on. I'm excited. I can't wait. You see, I've got my damn Iron Man shirt on. I'm excited. I can't wait. Can't wait. Absolutely. And I should say that I am going to love this movie. I've been underwhelmed by the buildup to it for one character only, Thanos. Right. But they're right. going to prove me wrong. They are going to prove me wrong. I don't question that. That's true. Well, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned to this channel I'm going to be dropping all the information you need about everything. If you're a subscriber out there and you want to get up here on my new playlist called Subscriber Vent, I don't care what you vent about. You can vent about anything I talk about. You can vent about your baby mama's cousin. You can vent about anything and we'll put it on YouTube. We'll turn it into water cooler locker room talk and we'll make it fun. James, I appreciate it. Thank you. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself that damn Life Gang. Come vent on the Life Gang's channel. Life Gang subscriber vent. I'm here for you. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please take your cursor. Click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Gains.